Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I want to talk about um, self worth and how to reclaim your self worth from the world or wherever you gave it to if you have a low self esteem. Now, self worth and self esteem are interchangeable, um, they are used you know, differently, but they mean the same thing basically. The meaning, the meaning I, what I feel it means, what uh, they mean, and I'm referring to self-worth and self-esteem. Now, is our own self, is, our Im is the image of ourselves, you know, that we have created about ourselves um, that informs how we value ourselves um, in life. So that's what your self-image is. That's what your self-esteem is. Um, yeah, so you have already defined your cap your capabilities. You have defined um, your image in public. You have defined who you are, what you are. Um, so you are giving yourself a certain kind of what you've told yourself. I can do this. I cannot do that, based on maybe experiences, um, based on the past mainly. Um, so we don't attach the what um, based on our future. Uh, but it's mainly, it's mainly based on the past. So the, the evidence that you have gotten from life, you know, is what you have used to build up this image of yourself, um, this picture of yourself. What do you picture yourself as? Who are you really? Um, how can you construct this? And remember, it's beyond, it's not uh, something that has to do with facts. It's a feeling. It's not something that has to do with reason. Um, or objective facts. It's just a feeling. It's how you feel inside you. So you need to question, you know, f first of all, is who made you feel the way you feel? Why do you feel this way you feel about yourself? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Um, like, seriously, you know? Why do you have the limitations that you have? Why do you have the fears that you have? Who told you you're not um, you're not worthy uh, of the highest of the best thing in life? Who told you you're not worthy to be the best in whatever you're doing? I know be the best sounds a bit um, <laughs> it sounds a bit crazy, uh, yeah. But who told you that you're not worthy to be good? Who told you that you're not worthy to you know? Ah, it's hard to explain this. Who told you? That, who told you? Like, who made you believe that you were inferior in any aspect of life? Who made you believe in perfection? Like, what is that? Is there anything like that? What are you trying to emulate? And now, we give away our self-worth, of course. We do it um, subconsciously. Maybe even intentionally. I don't know. Um, but... The self worth is beating out of us as we grow up um, in this competitive environment. I grew up in the you know in the eighties. I was born in nineteen seventy seven, so I so I grew up in the eighties when it, it, um, education was quite different from what it is now. You know the world was it was the world was different then. You know so you have to they, they put, once you know once you're born you know. Um, the only moments of freedom that you really have <laughs> is that your childhood, like your infants who not even childhood, like pure infants, uh, you know, they allow you to do whatever you want to do because there's nothing, there's nothing to do to you yet. But when you start growing up, you know, they, you know, they squeeze you inside the fact, inside the fact, what do I call it? Inside the, inside the wood chipper of life. You know, it's like a factory process. So they just drop you on the processing line. You know, and process you for life. So that you will fit into um, what life has designed for human beings to be. Knowing fully well that you came, you know, with complete freedom. Of course, first of all, they put, they, they put a tag on you. The tag is the name. That's the name I use. Um, Uchenna Ilu. 
uh, it's necessary, it's good, it's necessary for, you know, for records purposes. To trace your lineage and everything is necessary. Uh, the name makes, even though you can still change, like you can change your name, I can change my name to anything now. I, I can change my name to um, Stone Beans or something. That's nobody, that's anybody's business, really, what I name myself. As long as you can write it and, um, you know, do whatever with it. So they give you a tag already once you're born, squeeze you inside that machine, inside the wood chipping machine, inside the inside the meat processor. You push your head first inside it, then you know you go to school, they hit your head with all the um, programming. You know. They take you to the religious place where um, where majority you know, of your society attend. If it's, if it's a Christian area, then you're most likely going to end up in a, in, in, a, in a Christian church to believe, you know, in Jesus Christ and God. If you're born in, in a Muslim-dominated area, then there's more chances that you're going to be a Muslim. If your parents are Muslim, your grandparents, your uncles, your whatever, are Muslim. If you're in a mixed place, you know, where Muslims intermarry with Christians, you know, that's how your life will be. If you are in a Hindu area, that you will most likely you may most likely be Hindu, and if you are in China, you know you, you adopt the belief that is there, you know, uh, the Tao, the Tao, <laughs> the Taoist um, philosophy, that's there. If you live in Russia, you may you most likely be an atheist, and if you live in you know, some parts of Europe where religion has really uh, died down, you may be an atheist. So, where is your self-worth coming from? You have been battered. We all know, we all have been battered. Um, we are trying to rediscover ourselves. We are trying to rediscover who we are. We are trying to rediscover ourselves. Because we have consciousness, but I don't know who, you know, some people, it's like, you know, we are being forced, restricted into something. Um, yeah. So your self worth really, you know, um, has been downgraded, you know, during the process of your, um, you know, when you were being processed for life, you know, at the end of the product, like you know, you are like a product. Um, if you don't understand, if you understand what I mean, you know, life has processed you, so you're like processed food now, like uh, you know, the sausage and all those things you buy in the supermarket. You know, then you're presentable to the world or you know you're either acceptable or not that's how they know whether you fit in or not but if you decide not to fit in and to think for yourself uh, yeah then society might start chasing you around <laughs> yeah so it's, it's really so funny and strange um yeah so where has our self-worth gone That's the question we need to be asking. Why are we looking for validation from people? Why are we looking for our why are we looking for happiness you know, in uh, marriage, in relationships, in uh, in our children, in um, you know everywhere except for inside, except for within ourselves. Every we look for you know go outside to look for it. We look for it in yoga, in spirituality, in religion, um, you know, in books, in knowledge, in making videos <laughs> you know, in um, in so many things. In activities basically. But the true happiness uh, is in silence. If you know what I mean by silence. So if you have learned how to stay alone, how to <laughs> how to stay in silence alone, you know, with your own thoughts, how to stay happily with your thoughts, you know, without any distraction, then you're uh, you know, you're nearer to finding yourself worth, your self worth uh, because you know that your worth is not outside, it doesn't depend on anybody. And because we have lost this self worth, you know, um, 
we allow people to insult us, we allow people to devalue us without even knowing when they are doing it. Um, we accept a lot of rubbish from people, we allow people to mistreat us. Um, and it gets worse, you know, when you are codependent and uh, you cannot just stay on your own. So you must be attached to somebody. So and that person, you know, God forbid if you meet the narcissistic one. <laughs> They will run you through another another meat grinder. They will destroy you even more. And by the time you come out, you know, you're going to be doubly battered by life. And the problem with this is that um, if you don't if that suffering is not enough to bring out some kind of change or humility in you. You will keep going around, you know, attracting the same, um, attracting the same conditions, attracting the same abuse and the same um, <laughs> persecution, you know, to yourself, because that's all you know. You don't know any other thing. That's how you've been living life. As a people pleaser, uh, an attention seeker, a doormat. And all these are being done in the pretense that you know that you're a good person and you know you, you um, you're trying to be kind and everything to the world. So yeah, think about it. Think about yourself, think about who you really are. Beneath all the programming is not easy, but you can start asking some questions. Think about the programming that you've had to endure in this life. Think of all the things that society has been doing to us, you know, to make you to create the perfect product in you. So are you going to be a product of the universal experience or are you going to be a creator of your own life? That's the question we need to... We cannot really be on the fence. We can't be in the middle of it. So you're either um, consuming package experience, you know, or you're creating, you know, you are, you're participating and creating um, your own experience based on, um, based on the first presence of your immediate experience. Thank you. Um, I'm not tired, but I like to keep the videos between 11, 12, 13 minutes. Uh, for some reason. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video.